days that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Wow. Wow, I just... you know, it keep time. You know, so if they if 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 you don't know, then what what, what battle does he have to to fight against you? Right. But but so so as as, as we're studying this, I want to talk about moving that mountain then of unbelief. And 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 you say by hearing the word of God. They heard the word of God, right? They were even told that they were to receive power to cast out demons and lay hands on people. And they went about it, right? They went to cities. They came back bragging about it, didn't they? They bragged yeah, They about didn't it. have the Holy Spirit indwelling within them. But they they weren't, look, they, they, they weren't baptized into Jesus Christ at that particular time. Yeah, but and look, they, uh, Jesus did not- Get him, that. get him, Bishop. <laughs> Jesus, they, they bragged about the fact that they were able to go about and do what God told them to do. Cast out demons, lay hands on the sick. He told them, and they went about doing that. But when they came back, they saw this lunatic, and they tried to cast them out. They couldn't understand how they couldn't do it. Well, you see, you might want to go back to the simple idea and concept that this is why God never intended for you to have Jesus physically with you. Uh-huh. You see, here this is an illustration of men left in the valley and Jesus is not with them. Yeah. And they run in the public. <laughs> they did. Hey, but Bishop, Bishop, he sent them out though, right? Just like, just like, look. He sent them out just like he sent us out. Listen, listen, you listen. They, they, in Luke chapter 9, 10, Matthew chapter 10, when he sent those men out. Right. He delegates to them, uh, I believe, just temporarily. Yes, sir. He, yes, sir. He's, just, he's running a pilot test. <laughs> he, he, right. He's got a prototype that uh -huh. he, he, he wants them to understand that when this thing is fully in place it will work i want you to know it will work this i want you to test it out right now i have the power to let you test it out right now yes it is but listen yes. to me carefully this okay. is only a test <laughs> okay so he delegates them up to go do this thing and they go do those things yes sir yes okay? sir we, we like we we like to think and this is what i've been looking at we, we make a lot of assumptions when we read scripture Come on now, come on. And it's something that, that often gets us in trouble. Okay. So we, we think now that because that happened in chapter 10, uh -huh. that somehow that's supposed to continue throughout their lives. Now, now let, me, let me ask you something. I don't think Jesus ever intended for that to continue throughout their lives. That was a test. Hey, hey, but, but before you go further on that now, now let's, let's, ride what I miss. let's ride with this for a second. They, Jesus did not rebuked them for trying to cast out that demon from that boy, right? Which implied to me he didn't, it, that was not the issue about them being able to do it. <laughs> the issue was they ran into unbelief, right? I mean, I don't think, I agree with you, it was temporary, but it didn't seem like it was temporary at that moment because they felt they had that ability that was given to them was still with them. He didn't eat. <laughs> well, listen. Listen. Uh, the, 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 the real issue here. Okay. Is that you have to not get caught in the, in, the, in the word unbelief. You have to understand why, what, what, what reality does relief, does unbelief, uh, Let's see, I can say it. Unbelief makes something that is supposed to be possible not possible. Impossible. 
Impossible. Imp impossible. Yes. Right. Right. Now, now, anytime I hear the word faith, anytime I hear somebody talking about belief, I, 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 in my mind, what I'm hearing is that these people are attempting to get God to do something. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right, they have faith in God, right? That's that's critical. That's a good, hey, that's a good point. And hey, Brother Asin, we have well, to have make sure of faith in God. That, well, that's not, not to what I mean by that is, what they're actually doing, the whole context of belief in faith, is that we, as believers, understand now we're going back to this. Now we're I like going back to this like work it. thing again. I like it though. I like it. Go back to the work. See, there are two kinds of work that can be done in this earth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The work you can do, and there's work only God can do. Yes, sir. Now I'm talking. Yes, I like that. That's a good component. Now, unfortunately, the work that you do, according to Jesus in John 15, is counted as nothing. He's not saying you. He's not saying you can't do anything. If you read the text carefully, he's saying you can do. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He, in Jesus' case, he ain't talking about what you can do. He said, if, he said, without me, you can do nothing. A whole lot of nothing. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, I'm gonna say if I give my body to be burned, if I have all kinds of gifts about doing all this, if I ain't got love, I ain't did nothing. So, so the whole object of, 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 of this whole Christian thing that, for which Christ is sent into earth to establish is that we become really the presence of God and the potential for God to do something in us and through us. That's this whole thing. This whole thing is about bringing the presence of God to the planet in every individual. And that individual being in, in position so that God can do something to that individual. Amen. Yeah. God. Amen. That's a complete in yeah. us and through us that, that this thing is all about. Amen. These, these guys run up against something and they can't get God to work. Woo! Yes. Come you on. Know, when you, like when you break it down, when you use the Bible to break down itself to to identify what it's saying when jesus got to look at okay well what is faith faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen so he's saying oh ye little faith of of, of little faith little substance <laughs> you know yeah that that is that little little substance from God, yes, which is not seen. So, how do you get faith by the word? So that substance is little word from God, with the evidence of believe, believing the evidence that you know they they have no substance from God. What? Because the, the, the faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So they're not hearing God. And so Jesus is saying, you have little word in you to Wait, tap no. into. Yes, sir. Yes. I, I want to throw something at you. Though. Look, look at this first. And I like, Crystal gave a good point. Anybody else listening, this is important. This is what, this is what I was looking at first. And I want to throw this at you. And then I, this component is critical for us as moving forward. Because that's what I want to get to, us moving forward, right? In verse six, in verse 17, Jesus answered, because they asked the question, right? Jesus answered and said, oh, faithless and perverse generation. Mm -hmm. Faithless and getting God, to, believing God will do something. Is what I'm trying to say. Bishop, remember you said, Faith is, is is having faith in God moving to do something. And, and you, sometimes we miss it because we're not understanding that God can do all things. And if we want this, this and we want this verse right here. One second. 
But you need to modify that. You need to modify to say God can do all things and I can do nothing. <laughs> and I can do nothing. I agree. Cause, cause it's first uh, outside of Christ. Outside of Christ. But look, here's the point. I like. I always keep this is for me. A component is a faith in God doing something, not me, in believing that God would do something. Because when you go to verse twenty again, Jesus said unto them. Because of your unbelief, there's your problem, Brother Addison. That's that's what's the issue. That's an issue. Yeah. That's a mountain. But unbelief in what? I'm believing that God will do something that I ask we're asking him to do. He said, For verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you should say up in this mountain. Remove his to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible to you. But all I've seen, this is that if I listen to what you're saying, is if you say unto this mountain, remove his yonder place by God, for it shall be removed by God, and nothing shall be impossible unto you by God. Is that what you? That's what you're saying. Well, in, 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 when when you gotta look at this, Jesus said he didn't do anything that his father didn't tell him to do. So it's not what I want from God. I don't even pray that way anymore. I I I thank God for all that He's done because He's already given me all things that pertain to life and godliness so why am i asking god for something he's given me everything already so the fact that you if you don't know that then you're asking for something that you already have how do you respond to that that's a good question and that's a good question bishop but listen, Go ahead. listen what you have you see this is kind of what you need to really be careful with. You have is not something that you control. Yes. What you have is access in Christ Jesus. And you see, it, it is just a pause It is God that worketh in you. What we've got to do, you see, the point I was trying to get you to see earlier, if you go back, to the suffering thing. Suffering is the key indicator. God demands that there be suffering in your life. He demands it. Yeah, he says he wants a living sacrifice. He demands that if if you want to be able to participate in the resurrection life, he demands to be preceded by death, your own death. Because there is no resurrection apart from death. And he demands death because death is the only way to get out of Adam. Amen. If you have not died, you're still in Adam. And if you're still in Adam, you can say to this mountain and anything else. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen up. You will not be able to demonstrate the presence of life and power of God if you're in Adam. Now, God can still use you to do some things, but you ain't get no credit for it. Right. Ain't no cause for you because you, in Adam, you still continue in condemnation. Right. But so I'm trying to get you to understand that suffering. Suffering ought to be embraced by us because suffering indicates that we have seen the necessity to die. And one of the things that comes with our dying is that we rid ourselves of the, our self self-addicted The old self-addicted me is, is, is put away by death. Okay. Uh, Elder Johnson, you need to hear your crack one. Yeah, put your chips up. You can hear your chips. Okay. Chip. <laughs> Get on mute. So, now, so, on mute. so once death is out of the way, 
But once, once you're dead, now we got two sources of labor. But you can do what God can do. Once God yeah. gets you dead, this is not that you working is yeah. not a picture now. Amen. And this is what Jesus is trying to say to them: Come unto me, all you that labor and heavy laden. Right. You can work your tail off. You've been doing everything mm -hmm. you can do, and then all it's doing is wearing you out. All they're doing is frustrating you and confusing you and the, because you to be in despair because in your heart and your mind, you're saying, I'm doing what I believe he told me to do. I, I believe I'm submitted. I believe I'm trusted, but yet I ain't got no, no result. Right. Sound like that. Right. So he, in other words, he's got to get, he's got to eliminate any other form of labor other than his own. He's got to eliminate that from the picture. Exactly. So so when you, when you said, like, so what, make sure I understood what you said earlier, you said is, when, we, when we're talking to exercise our faith, we're exercising getting God to do something, yes. right? That's what we're talking about. That's that's the we're saying, are, are we oh, exercising oh, God yeah. to do something or are we allowing, we're, we're sacrificing self to God so that God may move and God use us. So the faith is right. So it's it's, it's 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 faith to move God to do something. Now are we doing it for God? Because I think this is what you said. God to do something. Is it? I I just I think it's. Oh, it's, oh, ain't no doubt in my mind. It, it's God to do something. Yeah. Because you still are in this body of flesh, and you are still subject to all kinds of flaws and error. Right. And not only does he try to get you out of the way by having you to die to yourself in Christ, he demands that you continue in death, that you live a life of death to keep you out of the pit. Mm -hmm. Right. So we become the instrument. We become the means. We, we become the living, thinking. That again? Uh, no, I'm just But as I'm just saying, that's I, where the, the impossible comes from: is God doing something. But I do agree with you saying that God has done some things yeah. already to us. We just no, have he to has, see that. He's already <laughs> done. All, right, he's all, already done. All he's got to do is send Christ back. It, it, that's the last thing. He, he's done it all. No, but I talk, what I'm saying is, let's go back to the scenario of there's a lunatic that needed the devil cast out. You, your faith is for God to cast the devil out. Uh -huh. Let me clear up the That's what I'm talking about. Those things. No. Does that make sense? Now, he has what he has done. Well, Brother Anderson said Brother Anderson said God has done it all. What I want him to understand is all that God has done is provisioned for the impossible to be done. Yeah, and that, that's 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 what I'm saying. Maybe I, I worded it wrong. It. He's provisioned for it. Yeah, but his his he's already given us the authority to receive instructions from him. Yes. With with the power behind it to perform his will, not yes. our will, his will. Right. So he has already positioned us in that spot if we just establish a relationship with him so that we can hear him. Yeah. That when, right. when we like 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 Bishop says, when we die to self, when we continue in that, when we are a living sacrifice, then that's when God consumes the sacrifice with his will. So what do you say? So break that crap. Exit that for us for verse 20. God make sure we're on the same sheet of music traveling because that's what people are dealing with mountains. So speak, say what you're saying with this in mind. All I'm saying, and when Jesus says, and Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief. So Jesus had already given them the authority and the power and the means to, to do what he had already said. He sent them out. Right. And so they lost focus of what Jesus said. They they turned away from what Jesus said and looked at the results of what was happening to that child, the man's son. 
So they focused on that instead of what Jesus said. Prior to that, they just did what Jesus said. Right. What he told them, what he sent them out to do. So he said, because of your unbelief. And he right. said, verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place. Right. And it shall remove. Right. So, so and nothing shall be impossible unto you. So if you hear God tell you something, then nothing is impossible. Right. So it's not already as long done. As you then. believe. So that's not, that's not already done, then, right? These are things that are actions that you can do. God will do on your behalf. This is not is it our behalf? Well, you you don't want to ask them to do right. It says, if I verily I say unto you, if you have faith in the grain of mustard seed, and you shall say unto this mountain, be you know remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Okay, but my point is, God has already told you. And see, that's to do that. And that's what if he's saying. told you to do that, well, okay, then well, okay. there's nothing impossible for you. If he's told you that no matter what situation or circumstance comes in your way to accomplish that, it will be accomplished as long as you believe. Okay. Has God told you to heal the sick? Yes. Okay, go up to the hospital and heal Go up there and wipe out the COVID section this morning. Go up there and wipe the COVID section clean. You see a point? You see my point, Brass? I'm saying that those, those, because I, I want to make it separate, because uh, it's not just for you, it's for us, for everybody listening, right? I'm, I'm with you. I just make sure we we'll all be on the same sheet. But let me, let me, let me correct this. Okay. He has not specifically told me to go into that COVID room or that floor and heal those people. He's not spoken those words to me. Uh, he gave you, I thought, when we did the script about the Great Commission, and we could take the Great Commission he out, said, he, he said, said, these signs shall follow. He said, you shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. You shall. Yeah. Not, not you go and lay hands on the sick and so they can recover. He did not say that. Well, let's go now, now, now what that scripture said now, let's, let's go back here. I wanna make sure, cause I, I think Bishop, we are trying to, I'm just trying to put the balance is, God, faith, and well, Bishop, Bishop, I, I agree with this. I like that formula. If we're trying to get God to do something, faith in God doing something, God's power, nothing's impossible. There's things impossible for me but nothing is impossible for him. And yeah. when, when we ask him, our faith is that when we have a situation, a mountain, we are going to him and have faith in him to remove that mountain that we say needs to be removed. Let it's me, what I'm trying to say, it's God doing it. And those are saying that that has not happened yet, you have to do. Because every day you have to walk by faith, right? Mm -hmm. And I want to be say walk well, by faith and that God will move on, I like to say by behalf, if I'm asking him. If I'm saying move mountain, I'm saying I have faith that God will move that mountain. Well, I, I think though we, we're mixing the African origin because some Right, I think so, right. Sense that you think that you've been given hard blood authority to do something. Right. And you have not. No, and, and that's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is, if God, then there is nothing impossible with what he told you to do. It will happen. It will come to pass. Now, he, he's, he's given so, us authority to be used by him. Yes. You've been, the, you've been given blanket authority now to be used by God. That you become the instrument through whom God works. Yes. You've been given that authority. Yes. That authority is directed against the powers of darkness. Yes. For the purpose of establishing 
and furthering establishing and furthering the establishment of the kingdom of God in the earth. Right. You've been given authority for that. But that does not mean is that you can walk out the door and in any case when you see fit, you can exercise that authority. Come on now. That's what I, 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 and, I'm, and that's not what I'm, I'm, I'm saying. Let's be clear on this. And I, think, I don't agree. I just want to make sure that people know that. That's what I'm Okay, because that is, I wasn't saying that I can go out and 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 here I, I can't go out and curse this tree out here for no reason and this tree dry up because yeah, Christ did it. And you couldn't because you I can't can, I can right. I can believe that word. I can believe that Christ did that. And I can have faith in that Christ did that, but God did not tell me to do that. So that's right. not going there's no source for that. Right. So your the 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 provision is only available when you hear from God, do what God wants you to do. That's right. all I'm saying. I so when God I speaks to you when you hear all I'm saying is when you hear God's voice, when you hear God tell you to do something, that whatever mountain comes before you to achieve that it will be removed as long as you believe yeah, as faith. long as you have faith in god and then who's so, going to remove so, that mountain right i mean because, faith is he's going to remove that mountain right that's what we talk about moving the mountain yes yes that's the whole point i want to make sure we understood he did tell you because right here he told you to go right here to go preach remember that scripture we did that's our yeah. favorite scripture right that, Preach the and, word in Mark sixteen, yeah. chapter sixteen, and he said, "You you know you can read, read it for everybody, for, for other people, not for you, for other people." You did he send you out there? And what's okay, gonna sixteen. I'll start from sixteen nineteen. He says, "So then, after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven, and sat on the right hand of God, and they went forth and." And preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and working confirming with them. the word confirming with signs word. following. Exactly. Otherwise, he's confirming the word. The reason yeah. I guess I wanted to throw the part about you said was verse 17. What 17? 17 says. It says, and these signs shall follow them that believe. Uh-huh. They cast out devils. Uh -huh. They shall speak with new tongues. Yes, sir. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, this shall not hurt them. Right. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall receive. And recover. They shall right, recover. Yeah, they shall, they shall recover. Right. And I'm saying that that's the one when Bishop was talking about go to Grady or go to Warner Robins and go to COVID-19 ward. You know, he has given us a commission. But the point I want to But he's make, just, he didn't tell us to do those things I just read. He said, these are signs that will follow you. Right. He didn't say, go do these things. Huh? You don't think that's a part of that? Could I, when I looked at that uh, scripture, let's look at it again. Quick. He didn't tell us to go. He did not tell us. He did not, he, he did not say go. 17 is not saying go do these. He's saying right. these are the signs that will follow you. Right. So 15 says, Go, that's you. Go ye all the world, into all the world and, and preach, preach the gospel, gospel to every creature. He, he that he believeth that and is baptized shall be saved. Yes. But he that believeth not shall be damned. And he says, and these signs shall follow them that, that believe. Right. In my name, they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents, and they and if they drink anything deadly, it shall not hurt them. They, that's you again, right? They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. 